Live from the studio at the Northwest Florida School of Biblical Studies, this is Have a Bible Question, where you are part of the program. Now, let's go to the Bible for answers to your Bible questions. The, y'all's website is a, is a great resource. Encourage people to go there, um, you know, because that's where you're going to be able to get that ordered from. I, I know you, a lot of y'all stuff you can get through Amazon, but it's the the easiest thing to do is just get there, um, go to the website. But look, a, a couple of questions come to my mind as you you say that, and uh, we we always archive these things on our our page. So a couple of things I want to ask you: one, if you had to explain how old the Earth is, could you give a brief explanation and, and give an age? <laughs> Yeah, you know, okay, so the the evolutionary side of the aisle, so to speak, the naturalistic guys would would argue that the universe is 13.8, you're saying about 13.8 billion years old now. Wow. Uh, The Earth itself, they're saying, is over 4 billion years old. And in order to get those specific numbers that that they're giving to, like, say, the age of the Earth, one of the routes they'll use is radiometric dating techniques, which we've got a lot of, of um, material on our website that shows that um, those dating techniques are, are, are depend on terrible assumptions, which we have empirically shown to be bad assumptions. There is no reason to actually believe that the universe is as old as they're saying it is. And in fact, because of the nature of these dating techniques that they use, the fact that you can't count on them being accurate. What we really draw from that is that that there is no way to know the age of the earth except through divine revelation. And so ultimately, if we if we want to be able to know uh, how old the, the earth is, we're going to have to turn to scripture in order to be able to answer that. And so then the question is, does the Bible answer that question? And we would say, yes, you look at the genealogies of Genesis 5, Genesis 11, and then what we know from history back to the time of Abraham, so about so two thousand years back to the time of Christ, two thousand years from Christ back to Abraham, approximately, and then from Abraham back to creation, we would say is two to three thousand years. So we're uh, so we're talking about seven, uh, a, un- a universe on the order of six to eight thousand years is usually what we'll say. Uh, again, based on what Scripture teaches on this and what we know from history. Uh, now there are several there's there's scientific evidences that help support that, uh, but ultimately any kind of scientific uh, dating techniques are going to be based on certain assumptions. The only way to really answer the question is if God answered it for us, and and the bottom line is He did. He did answer the question for us, and we know it's again in the range of six to eight thousand years. Outstanding, I, and I know you could go at length answering that, but. Uh... Uh, I think it's good to have that on our uh, on our YouTube page so people can see that quick answer to it. So thank you on that. 